Hello, and a very warm welcome to my channel again. This afternoon, we give you a piece of breaking exclusive news. Royal author Lady Colin Campbell told Daily Star Online the first Meghan Markle warning came just four days after her wedding to Prince Harry, and it left her gobsmacked. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex wed on Saturday, May 19th, in 2018, in a star-studded ceremony held at Windsor Castle. By Wednesday, May 23rd, Meghan was the topic of conversation at Lady Colin Campbell's house, she claims, as Meghan had done something rude at a 70th birthday party for Prince Charles the day before. Lady C made the revelation to us ahead of her new long-awaited book, Meghan and Harry, The Real Story, which is published later this month. She told the Daily Star Online, it's a real event, which was reported after in social media. Markle made a rude gesture to Camilla and was going around throwing herself at people as though the party had been given in her honor. Prince Charles drew Harry to one side and said he'd called for their car and he wanted him to take her home. Markle was quite upset when she was bundled into a car and swept away just when she was beginning to enjoy herself. At the time, I thought it was incredible that a woman of her age, almost 40, could act in such a rude and ill-mannered way, but then she continued the ridiculous behavior at public events. So this story became more and more plausible in the light of subsequent events. Lady C added, she began writing the book as somebody who was positive and invested in Megan being a success, but felt it was only important to tell the truth. Lady Colin Campbell told Daily Star Online how the royal family had wanted Megan to be a success, but warning signs emerged just four days after the lavish wedding. Virtually everybody I know, including my royal friends, the writer, aristocracy, wanted Megan to be a success. But it quickly became apparent the ride may not be as smooth as everybody had hoped it would be, and it would not be as quiet, as positive as everybody had hoped it would be. The garden party was thrown to celebrate the work of the Prince's Charities in the year of Prince Charles's milestone 70th birthday, and newlywed Prince Harry gave a speech. Prince Charles' joyful occasion was marked, Lady Campbell claims, by Meghan, who did something that rude, an attendee with yourself as a star. She is a rebel without a cause, no class. It was obvious that she could never have been allowed to be a member of the royal family. Totally unsuitable, no clue as to how to follow protocol. Made a play for dimwit Harry, he has given up everything for her. Hope he still thinks it was worth it. He looks like a man dragged down with misery. Harry made a poor choice, and he will pay for it dearly. Lady C said the first warning that something wasn't quite right was four days after Prince Harry and Meghan Markle wed at Windsor Castle on May 19, 2018. On May 22, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex joined the royal family on the grounds of Buckingham Palace, where the Duchess of Cornwall and the Prince of Wales gathered for a party for Charles. She concludes it was never going to work, her becoming part of the royal family. I, like many, said this before they were married. She, or any man or woman, would find it impossible to change from living an independent way of life to a life where you have no freedom. Harry must have known this, but chose her before his royal family way of life. She has been blamed for him taking another way of life that many can't accept. He knew the risk, but she was more important to him. Meanwhile, we continue with another piece of tabloid news. I can't believe this news is true, but I also want to share with you and we discuss. That is the news from National Enquirer. With his dying grandmother, Queen Elizabeth, all but retired from public life, and his rebel brother, Prince Harry, abruptly quitting royal duties, Prince William has been hit with a crushing new crisis. He's going blind. The National Enquirer has learned the 38-year-old future king has been warned he could lose his sight in just five years. The palace is desperately trying to keep William's health struggles secret. But he let the cat out of the bag himself, a high-level courtier revealed in a world exclusive. He publicly admitted his vision is failing, then tried to downplay it, joking it made it easier for him to conquer stage fright because the audience is just a blur. But behind palace walls, I'm told he's terrified of going blind. 
His eyesight has deteriorated quickly. He can barely read a newspaper, and he already has to wear special contact lenses. It's a devastating blow to the prince, who's a hands-on dad. As his children grow up, William wants to participate in all their activities, soccer, polo, horseback riding, and so much more. Now, all that is in danger. Though a friend insisted William's sight is fine, the courtier dished, he's consulting with top doctors in a desperate bid to save his sight. But the worried royal may be fighting a losing battle. Several eye diseases and conditions can lead to blindness, including glaucoma, optic neuritis, and infections, Dr. Gabe Merkin, who hasn't treated William, told the inquirer. Diabetes is the leading cause. While there are some treatments, nothing really works well. The loss of sight is progressive regardless. It's a frightening and very serious situation. This is the latest blow to the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, who are reeling from the Queen's decision to step away, and Harry and his wife Meghan running for Hollywood Hills. It's no secret William and his wife Kate are furious at their in-laws for selfishly quitting, said a senior royal source. With the Queen living out her last days at Windsor Castle with husband Prince Philip and Prince Charles and wife Camilla, isolated in Scotland for months during the pandemic, the Cambridges have been forced to carry out a much heavier workload, said royal insiders. We are told it's all taken a terrible toll, especially on Kate, said the insider. She's having to homeschool their three rambunctious children, George, Charlotte, and Louis, while in quarantine at their country estate, and still keep up a grueling schedule of royal engagements, now done by video conferencing. Although Kate's putting on a brave face in public as always, we fear her private world is falling apart. William's battle against blindness must be devastating and heartbreaking. That is fake news and a joker, right? But with another news, I think this is true. That is the newest report from Globe magazine, Epstein's butler exposes Prince Andrew's twisted life as Epstein's house pet. Disgraced Prince Andrew's twisted life as pedophile Jeffrey Epstein's pampered house pet is being exposed by the murdered billionaire's former butler, who blows the lid off naked pool parties, kinky sex toys, and cash payments to young girls recruited as pleasure slaves. Manservant Juan Alessi insists he's finally breaking his silence about his 11 years in Epstein's service because the fat cat's bizarre death in a federal jail cell last year freed him from a confidentiality agreement. It was a relief when he died because he was a danger, says Alessi. I was afraid of him. Now, the ex-butler is spilling his guts about Andrew's 2001 visits to Epstein's deluxe den of sin on the ocean in Palm Beach, Florida, where young girls lounged nude around the pool and rubbed on tables were set up for the prince's daily massage from a harem of young beauties, some underage. Alessi says the Duke of York spent weeks in the Pleasure Palace and slept in the main guest bedroom called the Blue Room. He says the mansion was full of nude pictures of young girls, adding, you would need to be blind not to see them or all the used sex toys that were overflowing from sinks. While massage tables were set up for the prince on a daily basis, Alessi claims he never witnessed Randy Andy having physical contact with any of the girls at the mansion. But women have now come forward to say they'd had sexual contact with Andrew when they were pretty young, serving as Epstein's party girls. Virginia Roberts Goofrey, now 36, claims she was forced by Epstein to have sex with the Duke on three occasions when she was 17 and issuing to force evidence of the alleged encounters in London and America out into the open. Andrew continues to deny all the knowledge of Epstein's sexual perversions and claims he'd never even met Virginia, despite a photo showing him with his hand around her waist. He also promised to cooperate with US prosecutors investigating his pal and has since lawyered up and zipped his lips. But more self-proclaimed victims are coming forward. A woman identified as Caitlin Doe, who says she shared Epstein's New York mansion with the prince, has filed suit against the money men's estate. Sources indicate she was ordered to give Andrew a foot massage while he watched a private viewing of the movie The King's Speech with Epstein. Now Alessi says the prince knew Epstein's lover Ghislaine Maxwell and accuses the British socialite of being a recruiter. The 58-year-old daughter of the late British publishing tycoon, Robert Maxwell, denies doing anything illegal, but Alessi calls her the devil. 
He claims he would drive Ghislaine around Palm Beach during whole days she spent recruiting girls. Meanwhile, Haley Robson said she rounded up Florida girls for Epstein when he offered her 200 a recruit. She estimates she probably brought 24 underage girls, mostly friends and classmates, into the perv's inner circle. Ex-butler Alessi also claims he used to go to the bank, withdraw 10000 from Epstein's account to pay Virginia and the other girls. He insists Epstein shrugged off warnings, saying the kids only want money. But Epstein was convicted of underage sex trafficking and served prison time under a sweetheart deal. Once he was released, he began partying with Andrew again. Sources tell Globe Andrew now claims he's broke because his kinky pal forced him to pay $15 million in blackmail by threatening to expose what happened at his mansions. The Duke is under federal indictment for his role in the Epstein scandal and was caught by police trying to flee Britain to escape prosecution, sources claim. Now Andrew has been stripped of all royal duties, and a Buckingham Palace source says even his mother, Queen Elizabeth, wants nothing more to do with him. The disgraced prince can only end the royal family's humiliation by stepping forward and telling everything. My news today has ended. How do you feel about it? Please let me know in the comment section below and we will talk about them. Remember to like and share my video if you feel so. And click the subscribe button to not miss any new video by our team. Now goodbye and see you in the next video.